When you're faced with an employment contract, I think you should first do a review and make sure that everything you've agreed to with your employer is actually included in there. This may seem like something that's obvious, uh, but it's actually surprising to me how many people come to me with problems with a non-payment of bonus when that bonus wasn't included uh, in the employment contract. So you want to do a review and make sure that everything you've actually agreed to is included in the contract. Some of the areas that raise the most issues between an employee and an employer are often a probationary period, a termination clause, a notice of resignation clause, as well as a non-competition and non-compete clause. If you see a probationary period in your employment contract, it should be an indication to you that your employer is effectively going to use this period of time to both assess your performance and your fit in the organization. The law generally allows employers to have a probationary period of about three months where they're able to assess your fit and performance uh, without providing you notice should they decide that you are not a good fit. Uh, however, we do see probationary periods that are significantly longer. And effectively, that should just be an indication to you that your employment is not secure until the lapse of that period of time. If you see a termination clause in your contract, it's your employer's attempt at outlining or limiting your entitlements upon termination. You're going to want to review this clause to get an understanding of what is in that clause and in effect how much notice your employer has to provide you should they decide to terminate your employment. This is by far and away the area that causes the most amount of litigation, so I think all employees would be well advised to review that contract. I think it might also be something that employees may choose to negotiate at the beginning before they sign the contract. So a notice of resignation clause is the flip side to a termination clause. It's how much notice an employee has to give their employer before they move on. So it is kind of awkward to think about the end of your relationship when you're only just starting it, but I do think it's important because it could be rather onerous for the employee should they have to give a certain amount of time um, of notice before they quit, before they move on to their next step. So I think employees are well advised to know if they do have an obligation in that regard, and this may also be something they wish to negotiate at the beginning uh, before they sign the contract. Non-competition and non-solicitation clauses will seek to affect your ability to work in the same field upon the end of your employment. A non-competition clause will affect your ability to get a new job in the same field or in a similar employer. A non-solicitation clause will affect your ability to solicit employees, clients, patients, customers, suppliers from your former employer. There's always going to be arguments back and forth about the validity of those terms. However, employees are well advised to review to see what their employer's position would be and how constrained the employer believes that employee will be upon the end of their employment. After you review your employment contract for those things, I think that you should also generally review it and make sure that the document, if it references any documents that you haven't reviewed, you're going to want to ask for those documents to review them. So this could be an overtime policy, a bonus policy or plan. Those are the sorts of things that I think that you should ask for upfront prior to signing any employment contract. Ultimately, employment contracts are there to oust implied rights. So an employee is well advised to hire an employment lawyer to go through what those implied rights are and how they're changed or affected by the employment contract is the only way an employee will really know what they're signing is if they know what they're giving up. You're going to want to ask your employer for time to have your contract reviewed by an employment lawyer. They should be giving you this time naturally, but if they don't, it's prudent to ask for the time so that you can have that contract reviewed by an employment lawyer. 